Howdy folks, TJ here. Like the last video showed, I was chatting about, gee, do I upgrade from my Atari 800 to one of these new fancy dancy XLs? I had that catalog brochure looking through it. And if you watch that video, I kind of came up with the summation that since I purchased my 800 in 1980, around 83 when these XLs came out, would I want one? Would I have chosen one? And I had said basically kind of no, not because it wasn't a good computer, but what additional did it give me over my 800? My 800 already had 48K. As we know that you could get an XL with about 64. Now they do come in a smaller, paquito little cute package. The 800 and 600 XL did shrink in size, so there were some benefits there. Maybe TJ now in the 2022 where I have lots of retro computers shifting around from a back room to my office and kind of keeping everybody in a state of uh, use, uh, a little bit smaller won't be a half bad idea. But we're going to kind of do a little bit of an unboxing of the Atari 800 XL. So I guess maybe I've stepped back in time and I go, heck with girls, heck with my sports car that I purchased because in 1983, I was driving. I, you know, got my license. Let's see. Um, what, when did I get my license? 67, uh, uh, 81, 82, something like that. So things became different. Computers were fun, but oh, girls look pretty good. And sports cars, I fell in love with Datsun 240Zs. I purchased a 1972 Datsun 240Z or Z for my folks over in the UK and those that say Z or Z for Z. <laughs> uh, but it was a 240Z. And uh, so, yeah, other things became more important. But this Atari 800 XL is a cool looking computer. And so we're going to do a little bit of unboxing. And it's I don't remember if I've tested this one. Pretty sure I did back when I acquired it, but it sat neat and pretty in my back room. I have, I believe, well, I have a second one. I've recently did a video on it that was part of a bulk buy I did. And I'm pretty sure I had one also that I did sell a long time back, thinking I didn't need three. Two's good. In case one kicks the bucket, you have one to fall back on. So this is the nice, pristine, well, I think so, condition 800XL. So let's open this box together. As you can see from the box here, I'll hold it at a few different angles so the lighting hits it pretty good. It's a little bit skinnier box than my 800XL when I did an opening of that. And the front says the Atari 800XL. Home computer, more memory means more power. 64K RAM, so right there, oh, I do have some extra memory over my 48K, and it does look sleek. I still like the tank looks of an 800, so I wasn't convinced back then, but like I said, girls and a 240Z won over. Uh, Built-in Atari basic programming language, professional keyboard and function keys, over 2,000 software programs available for word processing, business, education, and more. And then the official home computer of the 1984 Olympics. Whoa, this is perfect timing. Look at this. Like, will, will this show it down here in the bottom? That little insignia? Guess what's going on right now? The 2002 Winter Olympics. 2022 Winter Olympics. What perfect timing. I didn't even see that until just now. So it's got, and this was a sticker, it looks like, put over the top of it. Uh, so interesting. And it says Atari computer. So that was the front. Side of the box, I'll show you first. A few different angles. And I'm guessing this side may say similar to what the, my side is, contains Atari 800 XL. It does. Okay, so it shows a little picture of the 800 XL. Contains the Atari 800 XL home computer with 64K RAM memory. Owner's guide, TV switch box. We all love those TV switch boxes, right? Now we use those little RF connectors that make a life a lot easier. And a power supply requires TV set for operation. Br uh, built in Atari Basic, 256 brilliant colors of high resolution screen graphics, four independent sound voices. It says three and a half octaves. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know music, but I can see one, two, three, eat a little bit more, a little bit more. It's got the half oct uh, octave in there. Full stroke keyboard for professional ease and accuracy. International character set let you communicate in many European languages. External processor bus for direct access for future peripherals and accessories. 
Two controller ports for numerical keypads, touch tablets, joysticks, trackballs, and more. Cartridge slot for fast, easy loading of, of um, plug-in programs. Uh, Self-test functions to monitor computer operations. Works with a television set or monitor. Uh, help key to guide you through selected programs over 2,000 available software titles. Uh, one touch cursor controls for streamlined cursor movement and factory authorized service centers the world uh, over. I sure wish that was a true statement today that Atari was still alive in a form that made computers. They are alive, kinda. I don't, I haven't followed the uh, Atari. Atari's a bit of a drama. There's a lot of drama going on and who owns what and why, but needless to say, Today, you can go out and buy the reimagined, or whatever you want to call it, Atari VCS. I did not uh, get one myself. It looks cool. I'll admit, you know, graphically it looks cool. It does look like kind of a, a, a bit of a decorated PC uh, that looks cool. And it's got really cool joystick. I dig the joysticks and the uh, uh, a pad on it. Uh, but for whatever reason, I haven't invested in it. I don't know why. Probably because I'm more in the computers than video game thing. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, and then the side of the box just has a little picture of the Atari there. So, the back of the box, let me show you first, and then we'll start unboxing. Oh, this is a little heavier when I'm holding. Can you see my arms shaking? Uh, I got little weakling arms. <laughs> I got to go out and lift some weights. Maybe if I get some Next Cubes. The, those Next Cube was always one of the heavier computers. The 21-inch monitor with the Next Cube, that's a backbreaker. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the back of the box said, what will you do with all this extra memory? <clears throat> I sure need extra memory right now because I'm getting old and forgetful. But with extra memory, I can use programs like VisiCalc and the Bookkeeper to uh, really organize my home business. Now, let's talk about VisiCalc in a second. So this is kind of a joke. So I'm a, at my work, I'm probably the only computer nerd. I'm probably one of the oldest employees off the top of my head. I think I am. Anyway, we were doing a meeting over, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, when you tap into other people, what's it called? Uh, see, I'm already forgetting this stuff. Anyway, I see the FaceTime kind of thing. <laughs> a Zoom, Zoom call. But I think it was on Google. <laughs> anyway, so we started talking about spreadsheets. And I go, hey, is this Lotus 1, 2, 3 compatible? <laughs> and no one laughed. <laughs> And the room was silent, or the Zoom was silent, or the Google was silent. And then I started laughing to break it up. I go, oh, it's sad. Nobody knows that. Only one, oh, two kind of knew it. But the guy closest to me in age, he's in his mid-40s, goes, oh, my mom used to use Lotus. And then one other one said he only knew because his mom did also. But none of them used it. I thought it was funny. You know, it's just Lotus 1, 2, 3 compatible. It shows you when you get old, you know, VisiCalc. What the hell's a VisiCalc? <clears throat> Does somebody own VisiCalc now? Did Microsoft buy it? I don't know. Anyway, so with the extra memory, you can do lots of VisiCalc and the bookkeeper to really organize your home business. B, uh, because we have so much memory, I can create beautiful computer graphics with programs like Paint. A, for all, this memory means I can program with advanced programming languages like Microsoft Basic uh, to really take some fantastic color graphics and sound effects, and another B, by using Atari Writer and Disk Drive, and a disk drive, I can enter store, enter store, rearrange, and retrieve my research material in minutes. The bottom shows, we use extra memory to, uh, for the programs like TimeWise uh, to help schedule all of our patients' uh, appointments. And it shows a, a, a vet with a little husky. We've had three huskies in our life. Uh, no longer, uh, but yeah, Huskies are a very energetic breed. Let me just leave it at that. The Atari 800 XL home computer, more memory means more power. What will you do with this? In addition to all the extra memory power, the 800 XL has a lineup of special features you will find only in, uh, in Atari home computers, like built-in Atari Basic, language, superior sound and color graphics capabilities, full stroke keyboard, full function control keys, easy TV hookup, and expander connection for adding future generations of Atari peripherals. Is that UPS? Now here's some cars out there. Discover how many ways you can use the full 64K of the random access memory in your Atari 800XL home computer. So cool, that was the back of the box. So 
Let me see what side of this box is easiest to open. This box is actually in pretty good condition. There's a little shelf wear on it, but not super major, enough to say it's not like new. But uh, let's go ahead and see if this can poop out. Get it started and maybe pull it out the rest of the way. No idea if this is the bottom or top, but let's pristinely put my little box over here. I love having boxes for original computers. Now what size up and what size down? With Sinclair computers, it actually says Sinclair on top, so you know it's right side up, but uh, something tells me this is probably the top. That's probably where the manual went, and because the back of this corrugated stuff has nothing, so I'm gonna think there was probably a cable here and manuals. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm right. <laughs> oh, stuff falling out. So there's one bun. <clears throat> I got I'm, hacky cough. Oh, this has got a serial number on this label. And inside, let me hold it up so it doesn't come slamming out. Inside, and I, I think I've got the 800XL user manual in some other binder that I have. So, uh, this one didn't come with it or something, I don't know. So yeah, it looks pretty from the top. Let me stingily take this out and inspect it. It's been a long time uh, and see what kind of condition. The, this is, uh, doesn't look too, it looks like the right color. Maybe a little yellowing. I don't know if these necessarily yellow. Uh, cosmetically, it's looking pretty good. Maybe a little scuffage here and there. So, yeah. And power supply. So let me show you the power supply and then we'll show you the 800XL. So, big brick Atari power supply. It's the right color, right design. Looks good. Let's put this back in there and it comes with the right power plug. And there is a cord that goes into the 800XL on the other end into my 110 volt power here in the United States. So cool. Let me shift this over here. So let's show you the close-up of the 800XL. Let me uh, move my lighting just a shanty here. Just a little bit. And uh, we'll show off the 800XL. So 800XL computer. As noticed, you got your cartridge slot up on the top. Changed with the 1200XL that actually came before this, so it's kind of unique. Uh, 400 and 800 had it on top, but there's little doors that you had to pop open and spring open a whole door. This is just covered with this metallic silvery cartridge slot dust cover, uh, but it looks cool still. Atari 800XL. There is some dust in this key, so this dust is very old. <laughs> uh, previous owner dust, because I don't think I've ever used this one. So there's the front. Show a couple different angles. Looks good. So on the side, you've got controller ports for your typical Atari joysticks. A couple different angles. On the back, peripheral port, parallel bus, monitor port, switch box. Instead of saying TV, it says switch box. Uh, channel two and three, power in and on off button. So let's show a couple different angles there. Now to tell you the truth, so I, so the Atari 800, 400 did not have an external slot like this to plug in expansions. So in a way, uh, I guess you can call the XL series a little bit more capable in that they were starting to think outside the box and allowing you to plug in expansions that were a little different than your typical joystick floppy drive, stuff like that. So I don't know all what connects to this back in the day. I'll have to relook through my little booklet. Uh, but obviously there's some expansions there. I'm trying to think, so peripheral is gonna be your typical data bus of floppy drive, cassette uh, drive type of thing. This uh, was probably for more powerful capabilities that I'm not familiar with, to tell you the truth. I'll have to look through. So that's the back. Side over here has nothing. Bottom is just a pretty bottom, and it says a pretty bottom. <laughs> uh, Atari 800 XL, and this thing is, and it's got all the little rubber feet. Sweet, you know, normally I always buy something and it's always missing one rubber foot. 
So you go type and it goes du -du 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 and it rocks around. This thing seems really solid. Hopefully it still works okay. It's been a long time. Uh, so that's the 800XL unboxing. Now let's go connect it up to my little Sony TV and see if this still works. And uh, then we'll call this video a wrap. So yeah, fun. Uh, I'm gonna have to ex explore the expansion port more. I know there's some other things. I think it's called a side cart off the top of my head that can plug into the back of an XL and it gives it a worldly amount of power. I mean, the things that people are making for 8-bit computers these days boggles my mind. It's amazing what they make. So I'll, I'll get to explore that now and I've got the nice fresh minty 800XL uh, to use for it. And I have a backup too, so cool. Hold tight. La 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 la. All right, I'm back in my home office. 800XL connected to my Sony LCD TV, just through a regular uh, switch box, although not the switch box, I'm using the little uh, coax type of connectors that make connecting old Ataris and such to your TV a breeze. I've connected my favorite joystick, the Epix 500XJ, to the number one on the side of the 800XL, and I've connected power. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV and start... Uh, chanting a little bit. It's been a while since I've, uh, I try to remember if I've ever turned this one on. I'm pretty sure I did back when I got it and it's been sitting nice and pretty in the box. Uh, so channel three. So let's count her down uh, and, and then we'll try plugging in a cartridge too afterwards. Centipede computer game. Now what's cool about the old 800 is you could leave the power on, open the door and it shuts it off to where you could put a cartridge in. I don't think you could do that with these that I'm aware of. I don't like hot swapping anything unless it's off. And I don't know if these doors, I don't think they do. I think you have to pretty much turn everything off. So anyway, let's count down. Three, two, one. Blue screen, blue screen, a cursor up at the top, ready. <laughs> let's leave it here for a, a second as we chat. Because I like to, after you turn something on, for uh, after sitting a while, it's nice to let it digest. Hey, I'm alive. I'm, alive. I'm out there. So this is a really pretty clean, like I said, there's a little scuffage on some of these um, silvery keys. There's some stuff on it. I don't know if that's finger stuff or little uh, scrapes or what, but this is a pretty dang clean. I should check keyboard, though. So let's, let's do that. So let's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So far, so good. Okay. Um, Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P. That's good. A, Z, D, <laughs> F, G, H, J, K, L. Oh, very good. Z, or Z. <laughs> X, C, V, B, N, M, you know, it seems to be doing pretty good. It's return key. Error three. <laughs> okay, cool. So far, so good. Let's see if the reset button works. Reset. It does. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off <laughs> the 800XL. I do need to turn the volume up on this. I normally connect, the last I connected up to this was my uh, ZX81, or in the United States, TS1000, Sinclair. And uh, there's no sound, so if you don't turn the sound down, you get static and crap. So yeah, you turn that off. So i have it's been a long time since I've, well, since I tested those other 800. Plugging in a cartridge. Feels firm. Let's just do it again. Everything seemed to go in there, all right. Solid, okay. Centipede. Good sign, good sign. The volume up. This TV's never really loud with the sound, though. Okay, uh, press start. Uh, start. Press select for... Uh, select for two players. No, I don't want to do that. Just start. Oh! Oh, yeah! Got an itchy ear. Oh, I'm gonna go get you, spider! Zappa, zappa, zappa! Oh, I'm not doing good. <laughs> oh. Oh, racking up. Come on. Oh, got you. Okay, now I'm purple stage here. Go get your spider. Got you. Uh, oh, I didn't want to die. I got an itchy elbow. Oh, 
Man, this is a fun game. It's been a while since I played Centipede. Green. Gotta love Atari, right? You know, I was uh, an Atari computer kid, not an Atari originally console. I was an Odyssey 2 kid, right? So for video game... Oh, got me, you bastard. <laughs> Every video's gotta have at least bastard once, right? Oh, rifled them up. I've got this lower deck pretty, pretty dang clear. Oh, what are those ticks? I forget. Oh, he got me. You son of a bee. So right now, my 800 XL seems to be hitting on all the pistons. That's good. It looks clean. That's good. Uh, I, I hope to one day have it out all the time. Like, like I sh uh, said, I kind of rotate computers around, and I do my best to give each one of them attention as I can. That's, that's just my MO. Oh, you bastard. I think I'm dead. It doesn't tell you game over. <laughs> it's being nice. <laughs> well, cool. My Atari 800 XL unboxing video. It's working. Looks great. Looks mighty fine next to a 1050, which I've got at least two or three of them, I think. So all of my Atari 8 bits will have at least one floppy drive connected to it at some bit. 810s, 1050s. I even have an XF, is it 541? XF 551? I forget the numbering scheme, but it's the one for the XE series, which we will be covering after I get done with the 800 XL. I've got a 600 XL. I don't have one that's in a box, so I don't think I'm going to do an unboxing. So technically, next I'm either going to do the 130 XE or the XE GS. I do have both of those in box. I'll figure out which one to do next. And thanks for watching the video. Fun Atari day here in my household. Thanks for watching. Bye.